Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. So today I will try to discuss about that how you can easily visualize the brightness temperature on Google Earth Engine and monitor the surface temperature. So basically in this time here you can see I already opened a map in here. In this map I just try to visualize the brightness temperature band from lenset surface reflectance band so basically uh, this is the very easiest way when you want to show the brightness temperature on the surface we can use this method and we can easily get the result in temperature so mainly in the urban area as well as also barren land where we can get the more temperature or increasing the temperature on the other hand, when you want to focus the water body or vegetation, this type of land where you can get the less temperature or low level temperature we can get. In this time, you can see this is the map as I already created in here and monitor the brightness temperature in barren land as well as the water body and other types of feature on the surface. So in this time, when you want to focus this map, here you can get, you can see, uh, it is showing this type of red color identify the high temperature, 22 degrees Celsius more than, and also you can see the low level temperature um, uh, less than 19 Celsius, 90 degrees. Celsius. So here you can see, here we can get this map. It mainly focusing and visualizing the brightness temperature band. In Leland set surface reflectance satellite images. So here you can see if you want to check it, this type of land feature where it, it can easily get you can get this is the barren land or some types of settlement. So here you can get the high temperature. Okay. But on the other hand, when you want to show this type of classes, so here you can see this is the water body. So mainly water body, we can get the some low level temperature result. Also, you can see check the other region such as so I want to check this region. So here you can see so you can also get some barren land. So mainly barren land or urban area where we can get it uh, absorb the lot of temperature from the sun heat. Okay, and we can get the this type of brightness temperature from here. But when you want to show the other types of features, such as you can see water body, as well as also you can see the vegetation. There we can get the very low level temperature okay so in this time i will try to show you that how you can easily display this type of map using the brightness temperature recording and if you want to check the value suppose i want to check the some value in from the uh, inspector tab what is the value for the low and high so here you can see i just simply click on here then i can get that this is 23 degree Celsius when I want to face on any low temperature you can see the 18 degrees Celsius temperature in here okay so in this time I want to work with the landscape surface reflectance this satellite images so first of all here you can see here I already imported the satellite images for the landscape eight surface reflectance just I simply open here you can get the more information about this surface difference here you can see so here you can get all of the band information such as also there is scale so in this time, I just want to work with this band here. You can see B10. So mainly this B10, it's identify the brightness temperature. This band will originally collected with the resolution of the 100 meter per pixel has been resampled using the cubic convolution to 30 meter resolution. Okay. And this band we can use for identify the surface temperature. Okay. So in this time, also you can see this unit is the Kelvin. I also try to show you that how you can easily convert the degree Celsius from Kelvin as well as also you can see this is the scale of this data set and how you can easily use the scale of this data set. I also try to show you this part. Okay, so let's go. So first of all in this code you can see here I already imported my region of interest. I want to work with the region of interest and I want to use the satellite images for the land surface temperature surface reflectance satellite images and i choose the very lowest cloud cover pixel satellite images 
and in this time from the satellite images i want to monitor what is the condition of brightness temperature for the different types of features such as water body vegetation barren land or urban area or settlement what is the condition of the brightness temperature i want to focus it okay so let's go so first of all you can see here i uh, imported my satellite images in this time i just need to select my specific band which i want to work in this time i want to work with this band this band name is that you can see this band name is the b10 so i need to select this band 10 and let's identify the temperature data so first of all i simply take a variable I simply take a variable in here. I just simply take a variable in here. So I simply write any variable. You can simply write. So I simply put the variable name is that. Suppose you can simply put the temp. You can use any variable name. And then I just simply uh, call this image because I want to select the brightness temperature from this image. I simply use the select function. And after that, I simply call the band name B10. Okay. So now you can say I simply select this band 10 and then this band in this time it not reprojected their scale value. So that's why in this time I just need to reprojected it the scale value. And we already checked the scale value. This scale value is that 0.01. Okay, so here you can see this is a band value. Here I already checked this band value from here 0.1. Okay. So in this time I just only work for the one band. So that's why in this time I don't need to use the function. I just simply uh, use that the multiply function and multiply with my band scale 0.1. Okay, so now it reprojected. As well as this band is mainly get the result in Kelvin, but I want to need the result in degree Celsius. Okay, so that's why in this time I just simply convert. If you want to check what is the conversion formula from Kelvin to degree Celsius, just simply search in Google. Then you can easily get the result. You can see this formula is that from the Kelvin result, when you want to subtract with this value 273.15, then you can easily get the result in degree Celsius. Okay. So let's go in this time here. You can see uh, this, uh, this result. I can get the Kelvin. When I want to just subtract with the value 273.15 then i can get the value in degree celsius okay so now as well as i also need the result for my specific region just i simply uh use here the clip function and then call my shape value variable name is the uh, geometry okay now i want to visualize the result for visualizing the result i just simply uh take a variable and put here the vi z and make a dictionary in here in this dictionary i want to add here the some information such as mean result thus i want to uh, show the mean result from 19 degree celsius as well as max result from uh such as 22 degree celsius you can use any friends there is a no problem okay so in this time i want to add here the different types of color plated so i simply use here the color plated make a dictionary in this list i want to use at the low temperature i want to show display the map on blue color and then i also add here the greater than blue color i want to show such as green color and then i also use here this greater than green i want to use here the orange color and finally the highest or uh big temperature i want to show as the red color okay so this is my visualization parameter i want to set and after that i want to show the display on my map so for that i simply use at the map dot add layer function and then simply call this stem this is the variable i simply call after that uh, i also put the visualization variable name in here so just i simply call this variable name vi z And click the run. So now we can get the result for my specific region, as well as I also get this where the temperature is the high and where the temperature is the low. So now you can see we can easily uh, it displayed in here. Here you can see. Okay. So mainly in this time, 
when you can uh, get the barren land as well also when you can get the urban mainly this type of feature urban and barren land it absorb the lot of temperature okay so that's why here you can see it in this time uh, if you want to check the value you can get the temperature uh, is the high in the urban as well as also the barren land area but when you want to see the river or water body you can see this is the very low temperature of the feature okay because it will be absorbed the low temperature okay so this is the process when you want to monitor the brightness temperature and also monitor the surface temperature from here okay so in this time if you want to export this map you can simply export the map as well as you can also work for the further analysis for identify the different types of urban heat island as well as also you can use the time switch chart so as well as you can also monitor the land surface temperature monitoring so a lot of way we can e we can easily do using this platform so mainly uh brightness temperature this band we can use for the different way for different types of algorithm or identify the different types of features